White dwarfs are the, or let's just take one step back. So, so we have the, the entire sky full of stars and all the stars we see are currently burning hydrogen in their cores. Well, most of the stars we see are burning hydrogen in their cores. And that's how they en generate the energy. But eventually they will have burned all the hydrogen that they have in the core. And then they will burn helium and then most stars stop. And so at that point, the core will be composed of carbon and oxygen and they can't generate energy anymore. And so the core just shrinks under its own gravity and the outer layers disperse in space. And so the burned out core, which is mainly carbon and oxygen, that is what a white dwarf is. And then um, in general, stars are always in an, in an equilibrium between the gravity which wants to pull them together. So they want to shrink under their own weight and some pressure that goes outwards and keeps them up. And so in all the stars, that pressure is, is simply heat because they burn the hydrogen and that generates heat and that generates pressure. Now, when, 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 when they stop burning and the core shrinks, eventually it hits a quantum physical process called degeneracy. And it is that electrons um, can't be closer together than some limit. And that then provides what we call electron degenerate pressure and that balances gravity. And at that point, when the core shrinks down to about the size of the Earth, you have a white dwarf. They're Earth size, they're the burned out cores of stars. They have roughly the size of the Earth and they have roughly half the mass of the Sun. So because they're so small, the surface is very small and therefore they're very dim and they're very hard to find. And that's where in the past, um, the, the first white dwarfs, they were found by accident. People didn't know what, what they were. And even kind of towards the end of the 20th century, it was still really, really difficult to find white dwarfs. And then as I kind of was talking about this morning, Gaia came along and because it measures the distance. And so you can tell that something is a faint nearby star in the foreground as compared to a normal star much brighter in the background. And so with Gaia, we're suddenly boom, just from one day to the next, we were able to say, that thing must be a white dwarf, whereas that is a normal stuff.